the person who is who is paying for an animal product is implicitly accepting the ideology that it is morally permissible to kill an animal because of the way it tastes, right? And like you say, not everybody does that, but the vast majority of people, the vast, vast majority of people who do that um, are doing it for taste pleasure. It's like, if you're doing that, then what you are doing is you are paying for an animal to be tortured for the appeasement of your sense pleasure. Just, just to make this easier to understand how it feels like to be told that I shouldn't be telling people not to do that. Just swap out the variables. Take a different sense pleasure and take a different non-human animal. Let's say that somebody was killing dogs or paying for someone to torture dogs and put them into a gas chamber because they really liked the way that it sounded when the dog squealed. It's like, I'm going to pay you to put a dog into a gas chamber because I just love the way that it sounds. You don't understand. It just sounds so amazing to me when they squeal for their life and desperately try to escape, right? You would think that I am the most disgusting human being you'd ever come across, right? But that is exactly what we're doing when we justify the torture of a pig because of the appeasement of our taste pleasure. But because it's become so normalized, we don't even see it as a choice. We don't even see it as us making a, making a decision or making an action because it's just buying a burger, right? It's not buying a burger. It's demanding with your money, economically speaking, for an animal to be forced into a gas chamber, to have its throat slit, to have its child separated from its mother, right? And so people call me extreme for wanting this to end. If you want extremity, look no further than what we're doing to animals. 